Romeo. Approximately 16 years ago, my parents informed me that we would be adding to our family. Um, had, at the time, <laughs> I was eight and afraid of the change. Had I known what was to come, I should have been terrified. My sisters, Dimitri and Dakota, arrived in October of 94. At the time, they were a huge inconvenience. They were attention stealers, and they were just in general pains in my side. But they also taught me what it means to feel unconditional love and admiration. Uh, my sisters have, been, uh, have many amazing qualities. However, they have taught me four very important lessons, which is patience, accomplishment, fear, and laughter. When they were born, I was eight and a half. And with that, I was responsible for helping with the, the chores. I had to cook for my mom when she was pregnant. I had to change diapers, do midnight feedings, rock, burp. When she would go to the store, I was responsible for them at that time. And so and you can see in one of the pictures that that was part of the rocking and burping process. <laughs> also, because I was there for all of their major transitions, learning how to potty train, learning how to speak, crawl, walk, move, I had to be patient with them because I had already passed all of that. And as an eight-year-old, nine-year-old, 10-year-old, the last thing you want to do is focus on somebody else. With their accomplishments, they are the most goal-oriented people I've ever met. They already know which school they want to go to. So we have competitions on who gets the higher GPA. I want last quarter. <laughs> so, <laughs> they are an orchestra. They are honor roll students. They volunteer. They go to plays. They used to play in sports, but now they're too good for it. <laughs> and they really express what they want, and they go for it with no fear, which I've never seen before. <laughs> so with their accomplishments, it, it really is just admirable. For fear, it's kind of hard to see, but when Demetria was in first grade, she got pushed off of a slide and broke her arm, and broke both bones on her, her right arm. And when I received a call saying my sister was in the hospital from the school because my mom hadn't answered her phone, I was the emergency contact, I had no idea what was going on. And she recovered, she's fine now, but it taught me that there is someone outside of myself that matters that them being hurt matters more to me than me being hurt. That them being afraid means more to me than me being afraid. And to stick up for them. As far as laughter goes, my sisters are the most ridiculous people I've ever met. <laughs> They're nerds. They're the kids that I would have made fun of in the high school. <laughs> they read Star Wars books. They watch anime. They're in an anime club. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but they laugh at everything they do when they're their pet fish died. They had this huge thing where they created their own coffins and they buried a hole in the ground <laughs> and they laughed the entire time they were doing it. And the death of a pet is usually something fairly traumatic, but they just thought it was funny. <laughs> so now we have a little fish graveyard. <laughs> so, but they, <laughs> they also are able to see things that I've just never been able to see. They see the realism of life and how hard and ugly it can be, but they see the potential and they see that there's good in people and they laugh at everything. Um, with all the goals, ambitions, and laughs we've had together, Dreach and Dakota make me a better person every day because of how much life they have in them. Our age gap has prevented some of the pitfalls with regards to experience and age appropriate activities. I can't take them to bars. <laughs> um, but even with all these challenges, they allow me to be a protector, a mentor, a sub-parental unit, and most importantly, their friend and their sister.